Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. The next generation consoles are about a year away and as we approach the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Scarlet launch date, speculation on these consoles capabilities is at an all time high. Now today I want to talk about each next generation consoles ray tracing capabilities. Now throughout the video, the gameplay shown will have some ray tracing enabled and that's to show some of you console gamers what to expect next generation with ray tracing. We also have some naysayers claiming that console ray tracing is it's going to be utter garbage and I just want to point out that the consoles will be getting the second generation implementation of ray tracing which will be far better than the first generation. Obviously the Nvidia GPUs were quite crippling when you enabled ray tracing and I don't expect that to be the case especially with the deep optimization that consoles are known to have. Sony has released some information on the PlayStation 5 specs, an 8 core 16 thread CPU with a Navi based GPU with hardware accelerated ray tracing and an SSD capable of incredible speeds. Microsoft has also announced an 8 core CPU, a fast solid state drive and a Navi based hardware accelerated GPU. Based on the information publicly known, both consoles appear close in power. Although I think both will be close in power, ray tracing in my opinion may set these consoles apart. For some time we've heard some rumors that the Xbox Scarlet was more powerful than the PlayStation 5 and we've also had rumors stating the same about the PlayStation 5. Sony in a recent job listing posted that the PlayStation 5 would be the world's fastest console only to retract that statement a few days later. Microsoft on the other hand has not backed down from stating that the Xbox Scarlet will set the benchmark for console gaming. Microsoft has recently updated its ray tracing support on DX12, a new tier of ray tracing support which adds new tools. Now this basically will make it easier for developers to incorporate ray tracing in their games and I'm quite sure this will benefit AMD's GPUs as these are in the next generation consoles. We also have some next generation engines such as the Unreal Engine implementing ray tracing into their tools. Now it's easy to see with all the information out there that Microsoft will put a heavy emphasis on ray tracing. Microsoft's DXR is currently utilized by Nvidia's ray tracing GPUs so Microsoft already is ahead on the API level. We have leaks from credible sources also stating that Scarlet's die is larger than the PlayStation 5 and when you put this all together it all starts to make sense. This could be due to the extra ray tracing cores. Now I want to be clear with everybody out here, this is not any type of confirmation, this is just speculation on my part on the information that is publicly known. Sony will have to use a different method than Microsoft for ray tracing on the PlayStation 5. Sony does not use Microsoft's operating system so the tools will differ on Sony's implementation of ray tracing. So it's fair to say that Microsoft is ahead of Sony's ray tracing from an API level but I would not count Sony out. They've been working on ray tracing for Gran Turismo for quite some time and Sony could pull a surprise out of their hat with a new technique for ray tracing. However, if I was a betting man, my money is on Xbox Scarlet to have a more capable ray tracing system. Already having the ray tracing base on the API level is a huge plus and bodes well for the Xbox Scarlet. The next generation consoles will give gamers a significant leap in technology. 60 frames per second games will be the norm finally and ray tracing in consoles will also push gaming forward as a whole. With PC benefiting the most from the next generation consoles as the optimization will cross over. Ray tracing on consoles will look fantastic and breathe fresh new life into gaming. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for ray tracing games next generation? Do you think the PlayStation 5 will have better ray tracing or will the Xbox Scarlet wear the crown? Let me know in the comment section down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.